Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll be talking about the brand new Obsidian 1.0. I know it's been a little late to talk about the Obsidian 1.0 because it's been already 15 days or so since the version released, but I was on my educational tour for 15 days, so I could not really put my hands on this Obsidian app and I didn't know much about the update. Now I have put my hands on the brand new Obsidian. I'm liking some of the features while some of the features that I don't like. In this video, we'll talk about some of the updates and the changes that has come with the Obsidian 1.0 and they are calling it an exciting new start. They are saying that till now we were using the beta version of Obsidian. I did not know this that I was using the beta version of Obsidian and they have grand plans to continue making Obsidian the best and most refined thought processing app for the decades to come. That's really cool. Let's look at the, some of the features that we have got in the brand new Obsidian 1.0. So the first feature I would like to show you here is the a tabs feature let me just switch back to tabs and here we have tabs you can create multiple tabs just like you do in a browser and create a new file or go to a new file just like this now i don't like uh, using tabs because i have been using the sliding panes plugin previously the sliding panes plugin has been integrated with the core plugins along with these tabs so if you want to switch back to sliding panes you just need to go over here and click on stack tabs and it open all the tabs in sliding pins just like sliding pins like this so this is really cool you just need to go over here click on stack tabs or on stack tabs to toggle between these two options stack tabs and on stack tabs or you can also use the hotkey command you can use the command palette and search for stack and you can see toggle stack tabs you can assign the hotkey for this and it can be easily changed to stacked or in stack tabs so this is the first update in the obsidian 1.0 i really like that they have integrated the sliding panes into the core plugin section also there are some changes let's go and look at it if we go to appearance you will see a lot of changes over here advanced settings and the one i like is the ascent color i can just change the color here to whatever i like and this color will be used throughout my theme just like this let's use another color over here now this has been my default color to be used throughout my theme next changes in the appearance is the zoom level which helps you to set the overall zoom level of the app you can just choose the different zoom level and the zoom level will be different you see the changes in these icons the font can be changed with the quick font adjustment that is over here let me show you is the quick font adjustment you can use the control plus scroll or just trackpad to change the font size if i disable this the font will not be changed but if i enable this the font will be changed with my mouse and control control plus mouse scroll i would like to set this zoom level as 120 because i find that optimal and you can choose you can change the text size uh, as you wish by using the quick font adjustment Next we have is the show inline title. If you enable this, something like this will happen. So the title of this note will appear on the top of this. I'm not liking this feature very much. I feel it distracting. So I'll just like to disable it. If you don't like to see your see the title of your note on the top of your note, you can just disable the show inline title feature and it will disappear from here. Another feature is this feature which shows the bread, breadcrumbs of your notes. You can just go to settings appearance and so tap title bar and disable this and that will be disappear that will disappear from here next is the native menus this this will make all the menus throughout the obsidian app match your operating system next feature is the windows frame style that we can see change there are three different styles you can choose the hidden default hidden which is default obsidian frame or native frame if you choose obsidian frame you need to relaunch let's click on relaunch the title bar of the windows frame will be changed to something like this you have a dashboard my second brain let me just close this if i go to free will it will show the name of the node that i'm opening on the top and here is a little icon and you have the native styling over here and if i go to another op another option over here native frame it will change to the whole native obsidian windows title just like this just like the one you have on all of your apps so i don't like this so i'll just switch back to the one that i like over here that is the hidden one so these are the some of the changes that we have got in the obsidian 1.0 
and there are also changes in the obsidian mobile version of obsidian that is 1.4 and changes in the mobile version has made it a lot easier to use the mobile app the app is more user friendly and responsive than the previous version so if you want to change the other changes in the obsidian i will share the link for the change logs in the description so that you can check out from there for, for both mobile version as well as the desktop version thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more videos like this on obsidian in the future thank you for watching